Now, it has been a long, hot summer of quizzing, and uh, we are going for a tenth and final quiz now uh, between, two, <laughs> between two veterans of our Summer World Cup quizzes. That's Alex just a Dugan. different experience. Dugan has had quite a summer, actually, because yeah. uh, it's been a summer mostly of defeats, for one thing. Absolutely. But one win out of five. Yes, that one win, uh, cherish it. And of course, uh, even the, the defeats have been tarnished, if you can tarnish a defeat. Cheapened. Um, by, yeah, cheapened, good word, Dan, um, by a couple of allegations, one of which was definitely proven, um, of cheating. <laughs> Went on review, didn't we? Um, yeah, we had a VAR review, looked back at it and uh, awarded mm -hmm. the penalty. Uh, you suffer, you, you uh, had a, a one-game ban at one point. I did have one um, game ban. You're back now, always forgiven. Uh, you had one one, and then you got. I think it's fair to say you got crushed by Tom last time. Tom. That, um, was, that was almost. Tom I was very, very good close. though. Tom is good. Yeah, but uh, I was I was one letter off in the spelling round three times. Yes. And then I gave him the easier Croatia yeah. round because the France round. Was the hard. spelling bee guest round, I don't think is a round <laughs> to remember for either of your perspectives. No. Um, it wasn't no. wasn't the the best time we've ever had. Dan, you're one win, one loss. Yeah, I don't know why you're saying Tom's very good. Yeah. Wipe the floor with him. Did you beat him? Oh yeah, you're the only person yeah. he's beaten. Tom. Came came back yeah. from 18, 11 yeah. down. So Tom has the opposite record to what you. He Tom is four and one. Four yeah. wins, one loss, and the only loss is to Dan. Um, so well, based on that, Dan is the overwhelming <laughs> favourite here. Uh, but let's see how we go. So as always, three rounds in today's quiz. We will start with the one, two, where we bounce uh, a question between the two of you. There'll be multiple answers to this question. Uh, we'll keep going until one of you gives a wrong <laughs> you answer. You want to look as well? You uh, absolutely want to look. cannot answer. I can't look over there without seeing the cards. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, I've, I've got to look into the distance. I have to be so paranoid. I started this like whole summer with a high level of trust in my friends, and now I can't mm -mm. trust but any it, of like, you. It's, it's a natural reaction. To, if I'm looking yeah. over there to want to look well, at the card, and I don't Just, want to. It's a natural reaction to cheat, <laughs> is it? Look no. at the trophy. Look at what we could have had. Yeah. So, so close. Like, I'm learning a lot about the fans of Arsenal and Man United. Yeah. All right. So, anyway. <laughs> Obviously, the theme here is going to be mostly about this year's World Cup that's just finished. Um, and we're going to start with a question on that very subject. So, uh, can you name me, very simply, any player who scored two or more goals at the World Cup this year? There are 26 of them. Dugan, you're going first. Harry Kane. Harry Kane, yes. He scored six and won the Golden Boot. Mbappe. Mbappe, yes. Got four for France. Trippier. Trippier. No. No. Got one. Got one. Oh, fuck. Do you? That's awful. That is terrible. <laughs> this is why you lose. Mm. I'm quite happy you did that though, because I was. Mm. Uh, uh, I'd have probably gone Mandzukic. Yeah, Mandzukic's Mandzukic got three. I mean, there's Ronaldo. plenty here. Yes, there's another twenty. So Cherishev got four. I just I won't give you all of them, obviously, because we'll be here all day. But Griezmann got four. We didn't have Griezmann. Mm -hmm. uh, Ronaldo got four. I was so confident. Uh, Perisic, Mina of Colombia got three. Mandzukic got three. Eden Hazard got three. Jesus. Um, I, I, Cavani got three. Oh yeah, Lukaku got, got, got yeah. four. Like. There's okay. loads, right. but Kieran Trippier is not one of them. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Three nil to Dan. <laughs> right, take a breath. <laughs> I think it's psychology with you, Duke. I think you just panic. Right. Yeah. All right. Now this one actually isn't specifically about this World Cup. This one's a bit more historic, um, recent history, mm -hmm. not, you know, not specifically about what's happened in the last four weeks. So can you name me any team who, who missed out on being in Russia 2018, but was in w at least one of the past three World Cups oh. before that. So 2014, 2010, 06. Okay. So uh, any recent World Cup team that didn't make it this year? Yep. Dan, off you go. Chile. Chile, yep, yeah, they were there in the last two World Cups, 2014, 2010, but not this year. Ivory Coast. Ivory Coast, yeah, they were in all three of the last ones, but not this year. Italy. Italy, obviously, yep. Netherlands. Netherlands, same. USA. Yep, USA. They've been in uh, the USA. It's their first time they've missed since '82, I think. Yeah, Something it's like a that. long time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very long time. How long did they have to give this answer? Um, last three makes it harder. There are. There's 21 of these, so there's quite a lot. Uh, Cameroon. Cameroon. We're in the last two. Yeah, they're in 2014, 2010. Ghana. Ghana. Ooh, yeah, they're, they're normally there. Not this time. Cooking now, we're going. Yeah, we're going a bit better, but I'm going to let the side down. Um, oh, South Africa. South Africa hosted in 2010. Yeah. It's the only one of the last three <laughs> they were in. That's where I was yeah. going. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, let's have a think. Um, New Zealand. Yeah, New Zealand were Ooh. in 
2010. Yeah, they got they, three they, draws. They didn't lose a game. They do the hacker before each game or not? Is that no, like a football thing? That's know. just a rugby player, isn't it? Oh, yeah. He's fine. I'm fine. sure we'd he's remember. Fine he's yeah. fine. Yeah. Yeah. I'm absolutely fine thinking time. I'm so easy to fool. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'll engage in a debate about that. Um, North Korea. North Korea were there in 2010 as well with their um, renter crowd. <laughs> the yeah. renter crowd and the players who disappeared. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Has anyone heard of from the Russia squad since they lost the <laughs> quarterfinal? <laughs> All right, Dan, come on. What you got? He's having uh, a think. Oh, uh, uh, UAE. UAE, no. Okay, no. Oh, well. United, I remember it. So I don't think they've. Have they ever been in? Yeah, they have. Not, not in the last three. three. No. Um, so I would, have, I would have had Ecuador. You would have had Ecuador and you would have been right. 2014 and 2006, Jesus. they were there. So Dugan has scored some points. Yeah. Who else? Who else? Uh, I'll give you the list. Algeria, Angola, Ooh. Bosnia, Cameroon and Chile. We had Czech Republic, Ecuador, Ghana, Greece, Honduras, Greece. Italy, Greece. Ivory Coast, Netherlands, New Zealand, North Korea, Paraguay, Slovakia, yes. Slovenia, South Africa, Togo, Trinidad and Trinidad and Tobago. Oh, and, of course. Christ, Trinidad and, and, and Tobago, Tobago, 2006, and Ukraine, USA. Beat them, didn't we? Did you go to that game? Yeah. Uh, uh, no, I was at England, Sweden. Yeah. In 2006. Where, were you really at England, Sweden? Or were you there in? I was there in, in body. body. I'd been drinking vodka with Johnny <laughs> Vegas randomly, <laughs> who we ran into in a bar in Cologne. Uh, and the rest is a history that <laughs> yeah. I barely remember. Anyway, <laughs> do, you um, remember, do you remember I, the Joe Cole I met you that evening, uh? I think. Do you remember the Joe Cole go- goal? N- no. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it. It looked really, oh, wow. it looked really good. Um, anyway. It was fucking great. Three points all. Uh, and we are going to... And again, this is quite historic. This wasn't, isn't just about this year, although you can have answers from this year. Mm-hmm. Uh, our final one-two today. In fact, our final one-two of the World Cup. Um any award winners from the 1990 World Cup onwards? So any players who've won awards? So I'm talking about the Golden Ball Award, the Golden Boot Award, Golden Glove, or Young Player, Best Young Player. The four. Was young, were young Player all the way back? It goes yeah. back, yeah, it goes back to 1990, or be before yeah. that even. So from 1990 onwards, anyone who has won any of those four awards in any tournament, there are 30 people you could have. Dugan, okay. you're going first. Mbappe. Mbappe won Best Young Player this year, yes. Harry Kane. Harry Kane won Golden Boot this year. Modric. Modric won Golden Ball this year. Courtois. Courtois won Golden Gloves. <laughs> right, good luck everyone. <laughs> <laughs> um, Messi. Lionel Messi won Golden Ball in 2014. Original Ronaldo. Original Ronaldo won Golden Ball in 98 and the Golden Boot in 2002. Neuer. Uh, Neuer won Golden Gloves in 2014. So he didn't win it, no, too closer. Uh, closer won the Golden Boot in 2006. Uh, got that far back. Um, Lineker. No. Gary Lineker won the Golden Boot in yeah. 1986. Yeah. Oh, Often mistaken as winning the Golden Boot in 1990. Wait, so wait, who, let, let me think who got the Golden Boot in 2002. It must have been... What do you reckon? It wasn't Rivaldo, was it? No, no, it wasn't Brazilian. I just told you who I just told you who got the golden boot. Ronaldo got the golden boot. He got a golden ball in ninety eight and a oh. golden boot in two thousand and two. Oh, sorry, yeah, okay. Yeah. So then who Oh I thought it was I thought you said the other way round. No. Ball oh. in ninety eight. Because the golden boot in ninety eight <laughs> was I think we're uh, gonna put that to V A R. Golden boot I, in ninety eight was Davos Suka. Yeah, okay, but we're gonna mm. put that to VAR because I think you said it the other way around. Which Even is why it would still be correct. What no, what golden ball Well it'd still be a correct answer, wouldn't it? Well, yeah, it was still a correct so answer, getting... but then I was trying to get the two thousand and two. Yeah, but I lost that, I lost that doesn't matter. matter. Yeah, we're arguing about something totally irrelevant. Um Aww. point is Dan, you're six three up, so I don't know what you're complaining about. Go on, uh, give us give us some others, give us some others. Do you want to rest well, yeah. uh, Bartez, I'll give you all of them. Bartez, Buffon, I'm not giving you which years and everything, but EK Casillas, Golden Gloves. Uh, Conejo, who's Costa Rica, 1990, Golden Gloves. Courtois, Landon Donovan, got young player, the uh, best Landon young player Donovan in 2002. Did. Diego Forlan, wow. Golden Ball in 2010. Uh, I'm not going to go through all these. Uh, Khan, we've had Kane, Closer, Mbappe, Messi, Modric, obviously. Thomas Muller, got Golden Boot and young player in 2010. Oh, wow. Um, 
Mark Overmars, best young player in 94. Yeah. Wow. wow. Michael Owen, best young player in 98. Oh, of course. Uh, Podolski in 2006, best young player. Mm. Uh, Paul Pogba, best young player in 2014. Um, among others, oh, Romario, Golden Ball 94. Mm. James Rodriguez, Golden Boot 2014, you didn't say. Oh, of course he did, yeah. yeah uh, Stoichkov yeah. got the uh, tied for Golden Boot in 94. Oh, yeah. Zinedine Zidane, Golden Ball 2006. Lots of high profile options there. Did he come and collect that after being sent off? <laughs> I assume he did. He yeah. must have had to do. Yeah. So Are you allowed back on the pitch after? That? Yeah. <laughs> do you reckon they were like they'd already decided? They're like, mm. no, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. it's extra time. Doesn't matter. Mm. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. So there's a full time whistle when they just started etching his name. <laughs> yeah. on the like, well, like, we've started uh-oh. now. So he did just cost his team the World Cup. <laughs> but yeah, whatever. All right, six three to Dan, and it is time for our guest round, the last guest round of the tournament, and we are playing World Cup. Missing word round, or missing words round. Um, I'm going to give you uh, a head, I say a headline, I've written it myself, but it is a true, and it, well, they're all true stories uh, from things that have happened during this World Cup. Uh, so you're making up the headline. <laughs> it's, no, it's real. To guess the missing it's word. real. This is like an insight into it's your It's real mind. as in it happened, yeah. Yeah. but yeah. it's not real as yeah. in it was in a paper. You've got to crawl inside my brain uh, and work out what the missing word or words are. But if you've been paying attention to some of the more obscure news stories from this World Cup, then you should be able to get the answer. You're going to have three of these, each three points if you, for each one you get right. Dan, you are in the lead, 6-3. You are going to go first. Here comes your first headline. A Brazilian bar offered three shots every time Neymar blank against Serbia. Every time Neymar Rolled around. did what? Rolled around. Rolled around. Or like, Does it get uh, referred on? Uh, uh, over, over amplified his reaction to being fouled. Seems like if, a very specific. If he's, yeah. if he's wrong, do I get a point if I get it wrong? Uh, no, you can just tell me what you think. Dived. Though. Yeah, fell over. I would have given you dived. I'm not giving you that. I'm not giving you rolled around because that's not quite the same. Um, fell over. A Brazilian bar offered free shots every time. <sighs> this was in Brazil as well. Yeah. Even in Brazil, they're making fun <laughs> oh, of no, it. Oh, no, they are. Like, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, they are. Um, all right, no, I'm not giving you that one, Dan. All right, Dugan, your first one. Mm-hmm. Uh, an Argentinian TV station was so upset when their team lost 3-0 to Colombia that its presenters blanked. <laughs> <laughs> what did they do? Swore. It's more than one word, by the way. It can be oh, several words. It can like, be several words. Oh, that's so much harder than his one. Um, we're speechless on air. Um, no, nah, I can't give you that because that's not in the spirit of what oh. you're trying to say. I didn't they, they storm off? No, they held a minute's silence. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, that's fair. That's, that's, that's fair. very different. That's, that's deliberate. That's not yeah. that they were They were without they were, speech, yeah. <laughs> but, but I don't think that's not, what you yeah. meant, so mm. I can't really give it to you. No. Uh, yeah, <laughs> TYC Sports Channel in Argentina. <laughs> they all stood up. They had like a panel, like a news desk, four of them. They I saw a video of this on yeah. Twitter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They all stood up and, and they weren't even eliminated at that point. <laughs> they were on the point of elimination that they, that they were still in, but they held a minute's silence, mm. bless them. Uh, didn't help you, did it? Yeah. Uh, all right, Dan, your, question, your second question. Mm-hmm. Uh, Egypt goalkeeper Mohamed El Shinawi refused to accept the Man of the Match trophy after losing to Uruguay 1 0 because blank. Any ideas? I mean, he's the oldest player at the tournament. No, he's I not. Think, or second oldest, or no. something. No. So the other Egyptian no. goalkeeper was the one who's forty-five. He wasn't yeah. playing right. in this particular game. Okay, so he, so it doesn't help you. He not. refused to accept the man of the match award because he blank yeah. went to the toilet. No. Okay. Why would you refuse to accept? I don't know. You might have missed it I if you'd gone know. to the toilet. Because he lost. No, they did lose the game, that's true. That's not why he refused to accept it. He refused to accept it because it, the uh, trophy was sponsored by Budweiser and oh, Egyptians really? uh, tend to avoid alcohol. So he had a, it was against his beliefs to accept the award. All right, huh. so Dugan, you are um, still three points behind. Mm-hmm. We, no one scored any points, in fact, in this round so yeah. far. I would have done if you'd done reverse points, but no, uh, no, that's but happened. I don't. So that is academic. <laughs> uh, uh, all right, your, your second one. Nigeria fans were banned by Russian authorities 
from bringing blank chickens to their opening group game. Chickens. Yeah. Is correct. Do you know that? Um, now, bringing live chickens to uh, the football is considered, like, traditionally considered a good luck charm mm. by Nigerian fans. They got in trouble doing this in the last World Cup as well when a lot of them weren't allowed in to watch them play Argentina because yeah. they all brought chickens with them. Same thing happened uh, in their opening group game this time. They weren't allowed in. Correct. Wow. Dugan, you've tied it up. Yes. Six all. But we have one more question each in this uh, missing word round. Dan, here's yours, your final one. Trent Alexander-Arnold admitted his mum was calling him every day while he was at the World Cup to make sure he was blank. This is a shit round. Any ideas? <laughs> we had a round like this in our Christmas quiz and you were equally terrible. Yeah, I was the only one that got a single answer in it. <laughs> out, of, no. out of ten questions. Well, you haven't got a single answer this time. So, from why bad do, to why worse. Do you do this? Yeah. Why do you do this? <laughs> Um, to make sure that he was washing behind his ears. No. Brushing Sleeping. his teeth. No. Going to bed early. No. Posting pictures Dan, you only get one answer. <laughs> uh, <laughs> really, she was really concerned about his social media. Yeah. Game. You know? Sleeping? No. Trent Alexander-Arnold admitted his mum was calling him every day to make sure he was wearing sun cream. That's what Aww. he told BBC's Football Daily podcast during the first week of the World Cup. That's cute. Bless him. Bless his cotton socks. All right, so we are games, still we? tied up at six all. And Dugan, you have a chance to go into the quickfire round in the lead. I've never had this before. Almost unprecedented. Um, here we go, your last one. A video has emerged of an old documentary in which a young Luka Modric is seen blank on a mountainside. I have no idea. A video has emerged of an old documentary in which Luka, a young Luka Modric is seen doing blank on a mountainside. Taking a piss. No, Dan. Ta tax evasion. Isn't he going to jail for tax evasion? Perjury. 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 Why would you be avoiding... He's perjuring himself. <laughs> <laughs> he was avoiding tax on a mountain. <laughs> <laughs> no, the answer was he was herding goats. What's he doing herding goats? I think this is like, he was like six or seven years old. This is a very young Luka That's Modric. That was uh, that was never mentioned in the context. Well, I said I said a young Luka Modric. Young Luka Modric in football terms means like seventeen. Would you 16. not define six or seven as young? Not in footballing terms. That's yeah. that's prepubescent. Well, really? I said child. Yeah. Okay. Well, I didn't. And you got it wrong. <laughs> in any case, yeah. Oh. Whoop. Tell you what. There goes another one. This newfound aggression is serving you quite well, Dugan, because <laughs> yeah. you are nonetheless uh, six all. Uh, which means as we go into the quick fire round, we are tied now, Dugan, because you have. Um, been unsuccessful in more quizzes than Dan. I'm going to give you the opportunity <laughs> to decide whether you go first or second in the quick fire round. Let's go first. All Let's right. First. So you're going to have, as always, one minute yep. uh, to get as many answers right as you can. One point for each correct answer. The clock will start after I finish my first question. You ready? Yeah, let's go. All right, here we go. Uh, which is the only club to have provided at least one player for every England World Cup squad in history? Tottenham. No, Man United. Uh, before Hugo Lloris, who was the last World Cup winning captain to have played his club football in England when he lifted the trophy? Captain. Uh, pass. Bobby Moore. Uh, true or false, Japan's wow. win over Colombia in this year's group stage was the first time ever that an Asian team has beaten a South American team at true. the World Cup. That is true. Uh, in how many consecutive major international tournaments has Cristiano, now, Cristiano Ronaldo now scored? Six, seven or eight? Eight. Yeah, eight. Uh, before Raphael Varane, who was the last Frenchman to play in the Champions League final and the World Cup final in the same year? Oh, Zidane. Thierry Henry. Uh, along with France, who, which is the only other country to have been in the World Cup final twice in the 21st century? Uh, Italy. Nope, Germany. How many uh, games at this World Cup featured seven or more goals? Uh, five. Nope, three. Which was the only country to have a player sent off during the knockout stages this year? Uh, shit, pass. Switzerland. What nationality is Nestor Pitano, the referee at this year's final? I uh, was uh, Dutch. No, it was Argentinian, and you're just about squeezing another one. The clock's got finished now, but we'll go with it. Uh, true or false, this year was the first time there's ever been uh, two World Cup penalty shootouts in the same day. True. False, the second time. I think it was like <laughs> 1982. <laughs> the last one. Is that two points? I think you got mm -hmm. two right there. Gives you a total today of eight. Dan, that gives you a fairly uh, comfortable target, you would hope. I would hope. <laughs> um, so you need two to level it up, three to win it. You ready? Mm -hmm. Here we go. 
which is the only club to have ever provided England with six squad players at one international tournament. West Ham. No, it's Liverpool. Before Harry Kane, who was the last World Cup Golden Boot winner to be playing his club football in England when he won the award? Gary Lineker. Gary Lineker is right. True or false, Mexico have have lost in the round of 16 for seven World Cups in a row. True. It is true. Not including shootouts, how many penalties were scored at this World Cup? 14, 18 or 22? 22. 22 is right. Before Didier Deschamps, the only two people to win the World Cup as both player and coach were Mario Zagallo and who else? Beckenbauer. Yes, Franz Beckenbauer. Which was the only, uh, which was the last country to make it through the group stages while they were defending World Cup champions? Brazil. Brazil is right. Uh, in 2006, how many goals, sorry, how many goals draws were there at this World Cup? None. One. Uh, which was the only country to win two penalty shootouts at this year's tournament? Croatia. Yeah, Croatia. Which nationality was the referee in the England v Croatia semi-final this year? Italian. Uh, Turkish. And finally, true or false, this World Cup featured the most own goals of any World Cup in history. True. That is true. And I lost count halfway through that, but the the key fact is, I'm sure the the score is on the bottom of the screen because I will have done that in the edit, but the important point is... You won by a significant margin. <laughs> Congratulations, Dan. I need more of those. Um, yeah, but you picked the wrong one. Picked you should have yeah. gone second then, yeah, shouldn't I you? Done. It's, a, it's always about going second because yeah. you, I've noticed throughout the tournament, you do the same theme in each question. So yeah. like, so you know, so by going second, I can mentally prepare who, what I think is going to be the answer roughly to mm. the area is going to be yeah. to question one, question two, question yeah. three. Once again, it's all about getting inside my brain. So <laughs> it's like a weird episode yeah. of Rick and Morty. Yeah. Um, <laughs> can you get a handshake? Oh, yeah. Awesome. Here we are. Well Dugan, one win out of six. Dan finishes the World Cup with a winning record: yeah. two wins, one loss. Dan, the winner of and today's was, quiz. Yeah. And I was robbed against Frankie. So were you? Really? <laughs> Three and zero. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Do you yeah. not remember? Old Olaf, Olaf Melberg? All ifs and buts. Oh, no, yeah. Yeah. Olaf yeah. I remember that. Melberg? <laughs> I remember that. eighth Premier League goal. That wasn't that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That wasn't against Frankie. That, that against was against Frank. Tom, and no. you lost that one anyway. Mm. B-A-R it. Anyway, Dan's the winner of today's quiz. We'll be back in a second. <laughs> 